This nonprofit asked us to build them an epic space. Well, maybe not so epic, but a place where that their staff can go and reflect and get some peace and quiet. Not a lot of peace and quiet out here. With foot traffic, a bus stop, and fire stations going on in the front, that would not work. Led us to this space right here. Between these two windows, we were gonna put up an eight foot tall fence. It's gonna come out right at 16 feet and bring it out to right here. And there's gonna be a fence that went around it and we were gonna build a nice space right in here. And it's gonna to have to be gated because there are a lot of homeless and people walking around. So we wanted to make sure that they weren't getting into the space. So the city said, no way, Jose, you cannot put it right there. It's too close to the street too close to the corner and you're gonna end up blocking visibility. There's only one other spot on this property where we could create a small space like this, but it's mostly on the neighbor's property and I didn't think we would get permission to do that. When I first saw this area, I thought it would be absolutely perfect. It has one major problem though, which is the property line divides this space in favor of the neighbor. He did finally give us permission and he said yes, that we can build this hardscape on his property but he was not willing to budge on one condition. We'll find that out in just a minute. So the first thing that I did is I made this eight foot tall because a six foot tall gate, you would be able to kind of like peek over and see what's going on on the inside. I did not want that. I want this place to be completely sealed off. So most gates that you see on a house are going to be a pull out entering Narnia. And that's exactly what I wanted this whole space to be about. I want it that when you walk in this area, your breath actually gets taken away, that you kind of audibly gasp when you see the colors, when you hear the sound of the fountain, when you see the bar and the lights and the landscape and the life that this space has. It's a totally epic space and you would not expect that from the outside. So that gate is pinnacle into making this feel like a Narnia-like experience. Besides that kind of initial moment when you first walk in the space and how it kind of takes your breath away. I also wanted the space to have intention and purpose because the staff at this nonprofit are dealing with some pretty heavy stuff. And I wanted this space to reflect who they are and also build them up when they come in here for lunch or just come to get a minute. So they had a 5K walk earlier this year and knowing that this space was coming, I took a bunch of these rocks to that event and I had them out in baskets and bags and I told the people who were going on this 5K, grab these rocks, take them with you, pray over them, know that they're gonna be put into a space that is going to need prayers. The people that are gonna be in that space are gonna need prayers. Take these rocks with you, say a prayer, and bring them and put them back in the fountain. So these pavers right here, and it's evidenced by a couple of the things that are written on them. Every single one of these pavers that you see right here, of these smaller ones, has a scripture verse, has a word of encouragement, has a prayer on the back of it. That way, when we walk on this space, we're walking on his word, we're walking with his prayers, and it just makes this entire space feel like a place that you can come and you can relax. The design took me a while to put together. I wanted the space that's gonna pull you to the end and not everything be right here, but it's also narrow. So how do I use this space and get it to fit? My thoughts were, I wanna create some seating areas on either side. So I have three separate seating areas, but I didn't just want this massive turf. I wanted it to be broken up and feel like it was intentional. So we use these Teco Block Borealis little walls right here to kind of break up the space. And obviously our fountain sits in this one, but this pathway, if you notice these stepping stones curve out and they curve back in and it almost forces your steps to move. And the idea is every time I get you to do something, whether you know it, you're doing it or not, uh, you, I'm forcing you to subconsciously change as you're entering the space. So as you wind through here, not only do you have our prayers, we have our word right here, you're also kind of transitioning to getting into the space and actually processing in this space. Now, from the usability standpoint, I couldn't just have it all walkway and seats and benches. So we made this circle area here so people could gather. I got these chairs, I really like these. It's like a teak chair with some webbing, it lasts a really long time. And the idea is these could all be kind of bunched up and gathered over to one side and it opens up some more space in here. Or if there's a ton of people out here, you can take out this chair and put it over here and now people can sit on this seating wall right here. So the idea is whether there's just four people or whether there's gonna be 30 people in this space, it can kind of expand and contract. Now, on a nice day like it is today, it's about 65 degrees, it's absolutely fantastic. 
I like to work outside. And so my thought was I should put a bar in here where people can come and sit with their laptops and just kind of hang out in this space. They can see out the gate. They just know where they are. The sound of the fountain is absolutely memorized, mesmerizing. Absolutely mesmerizing. And I just wanted a workspace, especially if I want to bring out some hors d'oeuvres or a meal or something like that. I didn't want to have a table and chair that's kind of clunky that you have to move around. This just adds some permanence and it also has some beautiful kind of streaks and striations through it. Another element was what it looks like from up top. So that's the boardroom right there. So I laid this out, this entire space where it actually is attractive from above, also from a council room right here. So people can kind of look into the space. The fountain is kind of lined up right there. So as people are inside of there, I've laid things out on this side so that you're not blocking the view from these windows, but it also looks really good from up above. Use some wood elements and then obviously some very minor vegetation. This is a jasmine vine. It's just gonna grow and kind of fill out this entire board right here. We've got the lights in those. So that's just, just to kind of soften it. The last thing that I absolutely love is the fountain. We've already kind of brushed on it, but I really wanna talk about how a fountain works in this space. All of these hard walls just take that sound and they echo and it reverberates into this space. So it does not leave. It could be a perfectly quiet day and that thing would almost be too loud. But when you have all of the street noise and everything going around, it actually just adds just enough of a stereo sound to the space as the water has to bounce to get out of this space. It cancels out everything that's going on. You might still be here because you were like, how were you allowed to build all of that on somebody else's property? Well, I'll tell you, he gave us one condition. In Poland, mermaids are a big part of their culture. They are uh, part of their folklore about how their area was founded and how these mermaids came up and had taken care of and shepherded their area. You have to put a mermaid in that space if you want to build it on my property. So we did. And we've got a mermaid right here just looking over the space and making sure that it stays safe. What a fantastic place. This nonprofit now has a very special place where they can get away from that street noise, the fire trucks and the foot traffic. I do want to mention Sean Cameron, Yorktown Materials, and Mercury Mulch all donated stuff to make sure that this space could happen and make sure that it could happen on a budget. They did a fantastic job making sure that we were supported and making sure we had the things we needed in order to support this nonprofit. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to give us a subscribe. I know I say that and maybe it gets nuanced, but it really does help us to know that you guys are following along and appreciate the content that we're creating. That's it for now. Get outside, my friends.